Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Blank Check here, and today I'm advancing to... Today, I'm mentally prepared for... I'm watching Mentally Advanced, and I'm talking about the new Negative series. I've only seen a few of the old ones, so I could go back through those at some point. But for now, for the sake of time, I'm jumping to this second iteration of the series. I know the backstory, Greg Fimflam was hit with a content ID on his original series, so he turned it into a sort of audiobook style using still images, but they hit him again, so he dropped the show assets completely and started just working from scratch. I really admire that persistence and dedication. And he seems like a really busy guy because he's putting out videos all over the place, so I wanted to check out this new batch of content. I think I remember the characters a little. Twilight's a jerk, Dash is a dunce, Celestia's a tyrant, and there was something weird about Pinkie Pie. It's been a while. I'm guessing these personalities have carried over to this new series, but maybe not. I will see soon. And at the time of recording, there are 10 videos from 0 to negative 9, so I'm going to make 5 reactions to 2 episodes each which means this will be a shorter video than the next four, because episode zero is very small. I guess it's just a quick introduction. Or reintroduction. Anyway, I'm interested in seeing what Greg's done here, and how he improves over time. So let's mosey on over to Mentally Advanced Series, Episode Zero. Alright, Episode Zero, and we have the legal stuff up front. Good call, Greg. Oh. Oh boy. Greg was a new artist. Spike. What, Twilight? I had a dream. Hey, where are my books? We only just moved in, Twilight. I haven't had a chance to put them away yet. Oh man, this oh, is interesting. Right. I, I felt like we... This is episode one, I guess? Off to you? Aye. It's the story of my life, you know. I mean, in the show. Powerful dragon slave to a horse. Seems off to me. They just moved oh, into correct. the treehouse. I don't know, everything looks just... uglier. <laughs> end table. Didn't I used to have a nightstand here? Okay, so being self-aware. at night wondering if my life has less purpose than an end table. That's well, a good thing. Well, at least you're well off enough to take the time for an existential breakdown. <laughs> Shut up and look at this old key with the engravings on it. I don't That's know what weird. this goes to, but I feel like it's important for something. Do you recognize this? Nay. Nah, but it's probably from one of your stupid magical adventures that I wasn't invited to. Oh, yeah, that aspect on Spike Every is... Every time I invite you, you complain. So weird. Well, I, Twilight, that's because most of the problems are caused by going on the magical adventure in the first place. No. It's, it's true. Well, that doesn't mean that complaining about it makes them any easier. Nay. But if I complain enough, you won't take me along for the next one. I mean, this is I'm kind of endearing. No. What? <laughs> <laughs> WHY DON'T WE HAVE GUARDRAILS?! <laughs> okay, that was a nice closer there. It was very self-aware. He was able to poke fun at his own design. That's a really strong trait of an artist. Alright, let's see what happens in episode one. Okay. Legalities out of the way. Ever since I woke up, I've just had this weird sense Apple of butt. vertigo and deja vu. Like something isn't totally right. Well, I don't know what to tell you, darling. I'm not a doctor. In fact, the only thing I'm an expert in is apples. So unless <laughs> your problem is related to apple farming, I can't really provide... Uh, so they are insight. going back through the to you for series proper. I would go to a book for that. Actually, I'd go to a book for apple farming while we're at it. And I Twilight's aware of it in some acute sense. pony I've met around here. And I figured if anyone could sense a deviation from the norm, it might be you. Now, I'm pretty sure I heard an insult in there. Was <laughs> any of that supposed to be a compliment? Because cause it sounded like maybe... There was probably most of it was just insults, really. <laughs> Both, I guess. These models are. I mean, to say you're boring is significantly self, reliably boring. Improved. So that's good. Oh well, if it's good, then you're reliably a bitch. Great job. <laughs> but I haven't noticed none of the stuff you're telling me about Twilight. Okay? I find it funny that the element of honesty gets snippy with me for being honest. Oh, don't you pull that on oh, me. Burn. There is honesty, and then there is frankness to the point of absurdity. It doesn't matter. Just Valid look point. around your farm. Does it seem? Spike is having fun. I don't know. I I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> Looks the same as it always has to me. Uh, Ugh, it's like heartburn every time. <laughs> really, I've got a letter. Here. A letter. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. I love Spike's accent. Oh, right. The Gala. I hate the Gala. Yep. Ticketmaster. Tickets. Two of them. Like I've got anybody to invite or something. God, I'm low. 
only. Wait, the oh. Great Galloping Gala? <laughs> no, it's Grand Galloping Gala. You backwards mud horse. Oh it man, says she is right there on the insulting. Ticket. Great. Oh. oh, it does. Huh? See? You bonehead. Uh, Don't call me a bonehead. Are these fighting words, a or are they terms of endearment? Conical bone. Choose carefully, darling, because one option gets a horseshoe embedded in your teeth. I have <laughs> the magical power to kill you, resurrect oh. your corpse, oh God. then kill you again. Oh, jeez. Don't threaten me with violence. Okay, <laughs> uh, let's back up and try again. I yeah. am expressing displeasure with the tone of your discourse. <laughs> I am connected like you would not believe, and if you challenge me, there will cease to be an Applejack. Oh, jeez. Darling, seriously? Yes. There will cease to be an Applejack. Okay. Fat lot of good it'll do you. So. Wow. Do you want a ticket to the gala? I guess we're at an impasse. <laughs> oh, oh, jeez. Rainbow Dash, that's, that's not. painful. Y'all all right? What is wrong You're with you? You're kind of squished. What went wrong? Uh, well, I was practicing flying, and then I got disoriented, and then there was the ground. So, <laughs> what is wrong is I clearly Very need to practice concise. Harder. Have you ever thought about getting a non-stupid hobby? I don't have time for hobbies. I got a trade <laughs> for the Wonder Bolt. I keep applying and they keep rejecting me, but if I keep oh. doing it, sooner or later they're gonna let me in. That's they the spirit. They require a college degree. Oh. Well. Um. Uh, well. Not if you're really good. No, <laughs> Dash. It's a program for military officers, so you. Oh. Okay. Do you guys want gala tickets? Wait. You're just giving them to us? I don't need them. Poor I'm the Dash. princess's protege, and my brother is the captain of the royal guard. I may as well be castle staff. Well, I'll be That's a good point. That. That's Why does she need? All? tickets well, at all. You know, for practical reasons, I bet I could set up a food stall and make a huge bundle selling some of our apple dishes. You're, you're gonna bring a food stall? No, look, catering is included with the ticket. Food is provided. <laughs> yeah, well, that may be, but I'll bet you those sheltered high-class ponies ain't never had any real down-home country cooking. You show them, Applejack. Catering is rated with three Masara stars. You're oh, planning to compete with world-class chefs with street vending. I'm feeling sympathetically hey, embarrassed just imagining I accept it. all challenges. Head by not taking any risks. You gotta put yourself out there. There is a limit to that kind of conventional wisdom. I don't think I really want Twilight to Twilight is bringing Twilight. the logic. Dash, you're just being arbitrary. But it's harsh. It sounds all boring and posh. I just said the food is rated with three Masara stars. I'd go never just for get that. You chance to eat food like that again in your life. You will not be able to afford it. But you're just giving both tickets away. If it's so great, how come you're giving away both tickets? Do you want me to give it to Rarity? <laughs> she, she probably knows what they're for. No, 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 no. If true. Rarity wants them, I want them too. <laughs> you're just going to set them on your desk and forget you have them, aren't you? Probably. The Wonderbolts are going to be there. You know that, right? Oh, no way. Oh, you should have said. Oh, they're my the goodness. the Cloudsdale military, formerly anyway. Look, I've had too much stupid for one day. Are you guys happy? You're not gonna throw those away or use them for drink coasters, are you? No, no. They look like nice, I mean, fancy it's a ways out and toilet I paper. My schedule. You know how it is. It's like opportunity cost and what have you. Are you oh, man, sure we're bringing the Wonderbolts are gonna be there? Finances. How come you just give away tickets to the one? Economics. Bolts? Those tickets are worth thousands of bits. Both of you guys, it's a royal event. Look it up. And don't forget, you need to dress nice. Really nice. Not business casual. I mean, you guys should pretend to be filthy rich. Oh, well. Yeah, that's, that's a problem. Be a problem. On the camera, oh. I ain't filthy rich. Yeah, he really lives down the street. Guys. I don't even know what size I wear. Hey, what if we sell the tickets because they're worth thousands of bits and Good then idea. use the money to buy a really nice dress? Because Not that's so. stupid and circular, and on top of everything else, scalping those tickets is a felony. Don't lose oh, them. Just, well, I don't know. Rent something, Just and if you change your minds, for God's sake, tell me. Don't throw the tickets away. Find the away. black All market. Right. Have it your way. I'll think about it, and I'll let you know. See you later, darling. This is okay. very suspicious. <laughs> oh. All right, episode over. I guess that ends the Ticketmaster here. Oh, huh. that's an interesting way to go about things. DawnSomewhere.com <laughs> Voices Greg, music Greg, artwork Greg. You did well with this. This is a substantial improvement over the last one. An impressive... Oh, so the plan for the new episodes is to return to old ground and redo every episode in sequence. Okay? Oh goodness. There's so much here. I probably don't have time to read it. Oh, I was right. Let's see. He switched from Gimp to Paint Tool Psy. That's good. That's a good move. Oh man. Yeah. He's going over everything he's learning. That's a good point. Twilight is probably 
been to a gala before. She lived, like, right there. Okay, alright, that's cool. That's a promising start. Alright, that was episode 0 and negative 1 of Mentally Advanced. The giant leap in quality between the two exceeded my expectations. Greg obviously put a lot of work into bettering himself as an artist, and it makes me look forward even more to what comes next. It seems we're going through season one, it's going to be interesting to see his take on things, and he's not restricted to the show clips, so he's free to go in any direction at any time. He's very self-aware, very analytical, maybe a little cynical, but I like it. His voice work is also pretty strong, he's already shown four distinct characters, and he wrote the lines so he knows exactly how to read them. I'm glad he was able to pick himself up by the bootstraps after being put down twice, and I will try to emulate some of that persistence by trekking along with this series. I hope you tag along. Thanks for watching, guys. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again.